One other accessory you may want to purchase on your own is some type of small metal pan. You could actually even use a cardboard box, something to catch the cases as they fall out of the machine. Some people put a towel, uh, like a shop towel in there to cushion the cases. It's not really necessary. A lot of people talk about wanting to drop the case in water to quench it. Again, all that's going to do is get your case wet. It'll never get hot enough to, to damage it unless you're severely oversized on your flame. So I've done this for years and I just air cool them, but everybody has their own choice. All right, now we're going to light the torch and do the adjustment on the size. So the first thing you need to do is have a lighter of some type. You can see there's a long, narrow, inner blue flame. That's the one we talk about when we're talking about setting the length of the flame. You very carefully adjust the size. You can lengthen and shorten that flame. Right now, that's about what I consider an inch long optimum length. So what we're going to try now, put a case in here and see exactly where that hits. A little bit low, so we'll adjust it slightly. This is Tempelac. This is the temperature indicating paint you hear discussed. It comes in different uh, temperature ranges. You can pick them in roughly 25 degree increments up to a certain temperature. I don't remember what it is, but then above that it goes to 50 degree increments. What I recommend is 750 for the case neck and 425 if you need to verify the body dimensions. And what you do, you'll see there are two different colors. The 750 is sort of a, a light green. The 425 is a gray. And what I've done is I've put a little bit on the inside of the case neck of the 750 and a stripe of the 425 on the outside. Okay, now you only need to do three or four cases when you set the machine up. You don't have to do every case that you want to anneal just during the setup procedure. And if you want to reuse this brass, if you want to test your specific lot, you need to clean this off using a, a bore brush or a, a bristle brush before you try and load it. Don't just leave the residue in the case neck and try and load that case. It's perfectly acceptable to use some older shot out brass, brass that has a cracked neck, uh, range pickup stuff, because all you're trying to do is set the, the size and, and dwell time of the temperature. Uh, so you don't have to use your brand new sorted Lapua cases to do this part of the setup. Any case of the same size will do. Once you have several cases, put a few of them in the hopper. And what you're looking for is these, this green color will disappear. It'll turn clear. The gray color will also turn. And what you're looking for is to be able to see the green color inside the case neck turn clear, count to no more than one additional second, and the case drops out of the machine. That'll let you know that the, the case neck has gotten to the proper temperature, it hasn't overcooked, comes out, and then once it comes out, you can examine the gray stripe on the outside of the case body and make sure it goes no lower than halfway down the case body. That makes sure that the case head where the primer pocket is is unaffected by the annealing temperature. So let's go ahead and try the first case or two and see what happens. There, you see it turn clear and it falls out. Turns clear, falls out. Turns clear, falls out. Now, what we'll do is examine the case very quickly. 
And we'll see this outer stripe on the outside of the case body. You see where it changed state. That tells you everything from the black mark forward got to at least 425 degrees. Everything below that where there's still a gray stripe is fine. It didn't get to 425, so it won't have affected the hardness of the case head. Same thing for that case roughly. And the final case. Final case, just like the other two. So that's good as far as the location and the dwell time. What you can do if you want is you can make a mark on this label to show you where to start roughly at number six or whatever number that you feel is is where you want to be that way you can return to it later